Hey everyone, Tony Walsh here. Welcome back to Walsh Farms and another edition of Farm Truck Friday. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, or this week's been a busy week for me, and as you can see, I'm here at the house, uh, so I'm not at the pond, so which means it's obviously it's dark outside, and I really just haven't had a lot of time this week in, in preparing for this, but I did not I did not want to skip a Friday, and I don't know how many weeks we've been going now well, in a row. I, one day I need to look back and see. But I really didn't want to skip a week, uh, mainly just for the prayer portion. Uh, Why the message is important, to me the prayer is the most important, and I really didn't want to skip that. Uh, so, uh, as I said, I didn't really have a whole lot of thought put into the message today, but I, I did see something earlier today. It was a little poster. You know how things come across Facebook and all that. And this one was... The Seven Rules of Life, uh, and I thought it was a little bit interesting, uh, but but I do know uh, that the seven rules for each and every person, each and every one of us, may not be applicable because our circumstances are different, our lives are different, you know, there's so many dynamics play into our lives that the same seven rules may or may not fit for each and every one of us. But it's just something for us to think about uh, as we go about our lives to how we can make things better, not only for us, but for the others around us. Because the way we portray ourselves affects how somebody around us acts or reacts. And of course, and how they portray themselves is how we act or react. So, you know, we just need to do the best we can do and be the best that we can be. So these seven rules is really just something to try to give us something to think about. So let's get to these seven uh, rules or seven examples. Let's, let's call them examples. So the first one is just to smile. Uh, you know, a smile doesn't cost anything. It puts you in a good mood. It puts them in a good mood. And a smile always works into the end. Uh, a smile is happy until you turn it into a frown. So a smile is always a good thing. It's when you frown that things start going wrong. The second example is to just be kind. Be nice. Uh, we have the power to make people feel good. If we feel bad, if we act bad or act ugly as our parents would tell us, that gives off a bad aura. So let's just be kind. The third example is don't give up. As hard as life is, and I know there are a few of us out here in our YouTube communities that we are struggling and we've been praying for each other because of that, but don't give up. If it doesn't work the first time, find another way. Try and try again. Edison didn't invent the light bulb on his first try. You know, you just have to keep trying till we find a way to make it work, so don't give up. Uh, the fourth, and my sinuses are bothering me today, so I'm going to have the sniffles while we're doing this. The fourth example is don't compare yourself to anyone else. As I opened up with, everybody's life journey is different uh, because of the dynamics, our jobs, you know, our, our family dynamics, our relationship dynamics. So you just can't compare yourself to everybody else because something is different in each and every one of us. The fifth example is avoid negativity. Uh, just get away from it. Stay away from people or things that are negative. Again, if you associate with those people or those things, then you're gonna turn out negative too. That could be thoughts, it could be situations, and as I said, it could be people. And that could be friends, family, and coworkers. Just avoid negativity. The sixth example is to make peace with your past. We've all got skeletons in the closet. None of us are perfect, never have been. As, as, try as, I, as hard as I try to be perfect, I'm not. My wife will tell you that. Never have been, never will. So whatever went wrong in the past in your life, focus on the present because that's what counts. Focus on creating a better future. You can't change what happened yesterday. You can learn from it, but you can't change it. 
So learn from the past and make peace with it. The last example is, and this one here is really for me. Y'all, y'all know I'm toting a little bit of weight. So, so this one here is for me is we have to take care of our bodies and we have to take care of our minds. One doesn't work without the other. One struggles to survive without the other. If we have bodies that we let get out of control, then our mind has to start reacting to whatever's wrong with our body. If our mind gets out of control, then our body has to react to whatever our mind tells it to do. So we have to take care of both. And this is three fingers pointing. I'm pointing one at you, but there are three pointing back at me. I need to lose some weight. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of us out here do, but there's other things to do we need to do to take care of our bodies. You know, you, you can see this rosacea on my forehead, but y'all know I've had skin cancer, so that's another way we gotta take care of our bodies. I got a lot of people that are watching, you know, my YouTube channel that are farmers, ranchers, gardeners, hunters, fishermen, just outdoor type people. Take care of your skin, take care of your body. So that's my seven uh, examples. Smile, be kind, don't give up, don't compare, avoid negativity, make peace with your past, and take care of your body and mind. Let's try those seven things, and let's see how things work out for us. Now, that's the end of the message. So just like all the other Farm Truck Fridays, it's time for our prayer time. Uh, and as I said, prayer is one of the most important things in my life. Uh, some days I do better than others. Uh, we, we can all do better. And, and I just love praying uh, for you. So drop me a comment below if you've got a prayer request. You can send me an email to jmwalshfarms at gmail.com. It's uh, in my about section. I'll pray for you privately. I'll pray for you publicly. You just have to tell me what you want to pray What how you want me to pray and what you want me to pray for. And I'll be more than happy to do it. Uh, so the first one uh, tonight is uh, from Scott and Shelly at uh, Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. Uh, and they have a friend on YouTube named Margie. And Margie's partner is in the hospital and not doing too well. So we want to pray for healing for uh, uh, on Margie's partner and comfort to, uh, or healing the comfort on Margie's partner and then peace just on, on Margie herself. Uh, Nisi from Free Handley Made, we prayed for her before, you know, with her anxiety and, and autism. Uh, but we know in this economy, jobs are tough, careers are tough. And, you know, and as she has said before, and I've said before, you know, her husband no longer has employment, so they're still uh, struggling in that aspect. So we just want to pray soon, hopefully, that he can find uh, some employment. Uh, the next one comes from Lori at Lori's World, and she just wants us to pray for her sister Louise, who is struggling with some issues. Uh, so I want to pray with her for, uh, for Lori's sister Louise. Uh, and then last week's, here's one I really should have started off with. So this one's a good news. This is a praise report, uh, but we still want to pray for, for this gentleman. And that's Michael, from, uh, from the, and the channel is around Michael's barn. As we prayed last week, Michael was having brain surgery. And he's had that done, and his recovery is going well. So just you know, give God the glory for that. Uh, just you know, Michael, we're, we're pulling for you, my friend. Uh, and this last one uh, is a dear, sweet young lady, homesteader that we all know is uh, Darlene from the the Patriot Homestead. Darlene lost her mother on Tuesday, and the funeral is today, Friday at two p.m. So, Darlene, Patriot Homestead, just know that we're praying for you. Uh, you know, your mother's now in a far better place, but, you know, I, I know that's words. But just know that uh, we're praying for you, for, for your comfort and, you know, and blessings on, on you and the family. Uh, and then, of course, you know, uh, COVID, the virus is still here. Uh, in our area, the numbers are down, way down. Uh, so, so we're thankful for that, but people are still getting sick from it. People are still passing away from it. So we just want to pray for those people, continue to pray for our country, that things go well as we try to suppress this virus. 
Of course, and then the last but not least is to pray for our country uh, in itself. Uh, our politicians are playing politics for their lives. I'm not saying what the last administration done was kosher, for example, with the Supreme Court. But what the current administration is trying to do with the Supreme Court is just wrong. Plain, flat out wrong. But again, I'm not getting into politics. We just need to pray for our country. Because we are going to damn nation with the way we are being run. The United States is no longer united. It is politicized from both sides. We, you and me, us, have to take back our country. So let's pray for our country. Let's go to the Lord in prayer for all these that I just said. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, again, Lord, just thank you for being the loving Father you are. Lord, uh, as we just celebrated your resurrection a couple weeks back, Lord, we're so thankful for the birth of your son and just as importantly, the death of your son so that we can have ever eternal lasting life. This country's going to hell in a handbasket, but it really doesn't matter because it's our eternal life is what counts. But while we're here on earth, we have to make the best of it, Lord. And we have friends and families that are struggling. Some that are sick, some that are hurting, uh, hurting financially, hurting physically, hurting emotionally. Those that have lost loved ones. Lord, we know you're the great comforter, the great physician, the great healer, Lord. So we just ask your blessing on Scott and Shelley's friend, uh, Margie, and her partner. For Nisi and her family, that her husband uh, can find employment soon. For Lori's sister, Louise. For Michael's continued healing. Lord, we just thank you for that healing that you have done so far. Lord, we pray for Darlene and her family and the loss of her mother. Lord, just pray that as they have that funeral service, Lord, that they all see you when they see their mother and that they all have comfort in her passing. Lord, we continue to pray for those that have had the virus, those that will get the virus, those families that have lost loved ones to the virus. Lord, again, Lord, we just lift up our country to you. Our leadership is no longer leading. Our leadership is sending us to hell. But again, because we have you, we have life and eternity with you and your kingdom. And Lord, we just thank you for all you have done for us. And we just ask all this in the holy and precious name of your son, Jesus. Amen. So that's the end of today's Farm Truck Friday. Uh, as always, you know, again, the goal here is just to uplift you and to pray for you. Until next Friday, y'all take care. Have a great weekend and a better week next week. And may God continue to bless you the way he has done me. See you next Friday.